Uh, thank you, Madam Deputy Speaker. I'd first of all like to commend the member for uh, Oxford West and, and Abingdon on bringing this debate to the floor of the House today. I think it's much needed, and I'm very pleased to be able to contribute in this debate on behalf of my constituents of West Dorset. I'd also like to pay tribute to uh, the NHS and to the government for the work it's doing with long COVID. I was delighted to receive the briefing from the NHS on the five-point plan on long COVID uh, this morning. But I think this debate is shining a light on a matter that is not fully recognised and is not fully appreciated. The focus of our national effort, understandably, has been about stemming the virus and particularly uh, with the new strain. But amidst the headlines of daily cases and the deaths and NHS capacity and, of course, vaccinations, we are forgetting, I fear, those who suffer from COVID, who survive it, but who do not fully recover. Uh, uh, if you forgive me, I, I would like to keep going. Um, but those whose immediate threat to life from the more common symptoms has subsided, but who are left with one of the many debilitating uh, conditions that relate and then go on to form long COVID. I'd just like to briefly share with the House some uh, really shocking statistics that I uh, found in my research over the last day or so. 21% of those who get COVID suffer with it for five weeks or more. 186 suffered with it for between five and 12 weeks. And there's bound to be more because that was a statistic quoted uh, from November last year. One in 10 of all those who get COVID suffer from it for longer than 12 weeks as well. But today, I particularly want to speak in support of children and those who care for them with long COVID. Sammy McFarlane is a constituent of mine in West Dorset, and I want to pay particular tribute to her and her colleagues who have set up Long Covid Kids, a support group for children and their parents who are c contending with some of the most difficult of Long Covid situations. The inspiration of this movement came after Sammy and her daughter caught Covid in March and both went on uh, to struggle with, uh, with Long Covid. Long COVID Kids has highlighted some very profound realities that we've uh, talked about so far in this debate. Uh, but I would just like to uh, conclude my remarks with some clear and decisive asks of the Minister. Children must be counted in long COVID cases, and I fear they're not so far. Paediatric provision is needed in the long COVID clinics. We need to raise awareness of long COVID in schools, and I feel we need a plan and consideration of return to school for long COVID children uh, and avoid fines for parents, but also for appropriately phasing the return of children who are recovering.